What oils should you use? What matters is the stability of the fat, and there are three main factors to consider. 1. Composition Saturated fats, no double bonds, stable at heat. Monounsaturated fats, one double bond, stable at heat. Polyunsaturated fats, two or more double bonds, not stable at heat. 2. Antioxidants Antioxidants protect against oxidation, which is the undesirable process that can happen to an oil when exposed to heat. Therefore, antioxidants play a major role in the stability and health benefits of an oil. 3. Level of refinement The more refined oils are, the lower the oxidative stability is. This is because they are exposed to high heat and the natural antioxidants are stripped away. Seed oils fail the test for all three, they are polyunsaturated fats, have extremely low antioxidants, and very high level of refinement. The following oils pass the test. 1. Beef Tallow Beef tallow is high in saturated fat, making it very stable at heat. It also has a very high smoke point of 540 degrees, making it one of the best options for high heat cooking and frying. Make sure you use 100% grass-fed tallow, ensuring the best quality fat. Where do I get beef or sheep tallow? In your local butchery, you can also buy and prepare it at home. 2. Lard Pasture-raised pork produces good quality fat, mostly consisting of monounsaturated fats, making stable at heat. However, most pigs out there is fed vegetable oils, which affects the fat content, making it more prone to oxidation. 3. Fish oil Where do I get from? From your local fish market. 4. Coconut oil where do I get from? From your local supermarket. It's not that expensive to buy. You can also make it yourself, but it is usually a tedious process. 5. Extra Virgin Olive Oil Extra Virgin Olive Oil is a great source of antioxidant compounds, like vitamin E. It may help prevent heart disease, promote brain function, and protect against certain types of cancer. EVOO is made up of mostly monounsaturated fats and loaded with antioxidants. Not only are these very healthy, they also improve the resistance to oxidative damage. The same compounds that protect EVOO from oxidation can even protect food from it, as well as preventing carcinogenic products from forming during cooking. Beneficial nutrients from foods, specifically carotenoids, antioxidants, may even be preserved and more bioavailable from cooking in olive oil. 6. Macadamia Oil It has high levels of monounsaturated fat. According to the American Heart Association, AHA, monounsaturated fats can lower levels of bad cholesterol, which, in turn, can reduce a person's risk of heart attack and stroke. Macadamia oil is a source of antioxidants. You make it at home or buy the one in a glass container. 7. Butter Because butter is mainly a saturated fat, it is stable at heat. It does have a low smoke point at 350 degrees, which means the flavor can be impacted rather quickly. Butter is perfect for low to medium low heat cooking. Compared to regular butter, grass-fed butter contains more vitamin A, more vitamin K2, up to five times more CLA, up to 25% more omega-3s. Tastes way better dot you buy from your local supermarket. 8. Ghee Ghee is also mainly a saturated fat, making it stable at heat. It has a much higher smoke point than butter at 480 degrees, making it the best option for high heat when you want the butter flavor. You buy ghee from your local supermarket. 
9. Avocado oil Avocado oil is also made up of mostly monounsaturated fats but low in antioxidants, making it stable at heat to a certain extent. It will oxidize over longer periods of time though, so it is not an oil you'd want to use more than once like other, more stable frying fats. It has a smoke point of 500 degrees, making it a good option for high heat cooking and searing as well as salad dressings. We are in the avocado season. Make it yourself at home. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more health tips.